Senator Boisvenu. Merci beaucoup. Thank you very much, Mr. Chairman. Welcome, uh, Professor. And uh, sorry uh, for my voice. The first question you touched upon, perhaps when I was absent, but were you surprised to see in this bill that we would apply random testing for alcohol, but that we would not do so for the use of marijuana? I, I think that seems to be a glaring inconsistency. I think it's. Uh, I, I'm not an expert on the marijuana stuff, but I understand that uh, it's a very the science of everything there is very complicated and debatable, and more controversial. So it's good that that reasonable suspicion standard is put for that type of screening. If 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 they, if, they, if it's done as a protection against something that might be controversial in its application, why not do it? Uh, keep it here. So yes, I'm surprised that the, it applies to one form of screening but not the other. My second question. The uh, drug experts said to two to five milligrams in the blood stream would be difficult to defend in court given the scientific knowledge we have and the link to be made with into between intoxication and THC levels is something that's very difficult to establish. So, so can this also be a weakness in the bill when our knowledge tells us that uh, we're setting out a level that will be difficult to prove in court? And so would that not be a further constraint uh, in this bill? I agree with you, Senator. My final question is that then, in order to uh, not wind up with bottlenecks in the court system and challenges in the court, should there be a zero tolerance, absolutely no safe level for driving? Wouldn't that be the most rational approach to ensure that uh, the courthouses won't be um, constantly dealing with challenges and we won't find ourselves tied up with all of that? I think that uh, even I'm no, as I said, I'm not an expert on um, impaired driving proving. I'm just a victim. <laughs> but um, um, I, I think that there's no country in the world that does, uh, doesn't try and measure the level of alcohol you've consumed over a certain period of time. Um, I think there's some, I, I don't want to really want to get into this because I haven't prepared for it and it's not my area of expertise. I see something in the bill that clarifies quite a lot of the technicalities of impaired driving uh, which would save time in the courts if, it, if, if and when it's passed. But this one seems to stick out as being something that uh, we should be uh, proud of the Charter of Rights and Freedoms. It presents some balance. When you get a, a, a strong law and order group, uh, Bob Solomon is a wonderful person, a very good academic. He's an extremely uh, strong spokesman for MAD, um, and he does a great job of it. So if we pass this, the next spokesman will be something from the police association, perhaps, that says, maybe it's good to have automatic carding practices, like, just like we do for, in, in the, I, th I see a slippery slope. And um, I, the, the main thing is I don't understand why it's necessary to depart from it, and especially I go back and say that the, the, the data that comes from uh, Australia and New Zealand, that it's worked well there, is in the countries that don't have a constitutional entrenched Charter of Rights and Freedoms. Also, it seems to me that uh, when you're talking about the dangers of impaired driving, it always turns out to be a matter of resources. How many police officers are out there actually looking for impaired drivers? And the, the law has only part answered the, the question. And um, <clears throat> so, that none of this is easy. I mean, like, for example, I was reading uh, the material that's coming out now on distracted driving, killing more people than impaired driving. So the next thing we do is to move into distracted driving and have something arbitrary there. I don't think that's the way the law should work. I think it's working relatively well. I do agree that there are a fair number of over overly complex parts of impaired driving cases, and I think the if I was prepared to answer this carefully, I would actually say I agree with a lot of it, but not this. 